Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 battle for you. This time we are in a siege and today the Spanish Reconquista is underway. No one expects the Spanish Reconquista because there's no Inquisition here. It's just a load of angry Spanish wanting to take back their land. And uh, today we have the Kingdom of Castile and the Kingdom of Aragon in a siege defending against the Ayubid uh, Sultanate and the Almanid uh, Caliphate. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm they may be a sultan as well, but um, anyway, yes, we, it's a 2v2. Um, the Spanish have very much uh, got a disadvantage here with numbers and I'm going to guess quality as well. Because, I mean, there's some really good, like, uh, infantry over here. I mean, these guys have, like, got bow. Oh, no, these have got javis. I thought they had bows. But they've got some pretty damn good uh, units of the, uh, have the Muslim forces. And they also got cannons. They've got culverines here, which are going to get battered down these walls, you imagine. But, um... Yes, yeah, so the Spanish are just finally setting up. We have, well, a lot of uh, pole arms, it would seem here. I mean, these are going to be huge in defending um, choke points. Looks like they're already like prepared to defend this uh, front here against the Ayubids and this one against the Almas. Looks like they're going to defend the walls and then make a staggered defense the entire way through. So we'll see see what happens there. Um, but yes, I mean, look at these guys. These look goddamn awesome. I mean, these units, this Pavis crossbow unit, it looks slightly eastern, to be fair, with their shields. Not really seen a lot of the Spanish. Uh, I don't play them often myself. Um, I think I played them like once or twice and never really had much success with them. But I mean, they are pretty damn good. They've got like, certainly their uh, spears and stuff like that, pretty damn good. They've also got some pretty nasty swords. Um, and they've got like a weird, like, almost like Arab and uh, Western vibe to, for me. I mean, look at their shields, for instance. Uh, by the sounds of it, the crossbows are already letting loose. Look at these boys. These pavies. Like I said, the shields, look at them. Look really weird. What is that? Like a, it's like almost like a turtle shell. But, I mean, here come the uh, the Arab forces. The Ayub is already moving up. It looks like what they're moving up first. Looks like they're going to move up some of these Sudanese archers. And they also got some... Are these Oh, these are Mamluk foot guards. These are actually... These are nasty. These are the nasty stuffs. Uh, and the Tabadere just behind. They also sound like they're... It looks like everyone's bringing a culverine. If you're attacking, it's just time to bring a culverine. Um, but it looks like it's going to be some Sudanese archers and some medium spears going up first. And they're just going to get absolutely just focused down by arrows. Um, where it's flaming shot or just crossbows. I mean, they're shooting at the crossbows. They really shouldn't bother. They should just shoot everything behind the walls. Better chance of hitting stuff. Also, we're bringing cross... Well... I say they're bringing crossbows. They're not. They're bringing archers. They are actually perfect for this scenario. Attacking, you want to bring archers. Um, and if you're defending, you want to bring crossbows. And they've already taken out a tower. And um, that's pretty good by the Culverine taking that out. Looks like it's still got a lot of ammo left. If it can take out the other one, great. Maybe make a breach in the wall as well would be pretty good. Um, over here, they've also taken out a tower. Looks like the Spanish are going out. What are they doing? They're sending out some... Le uh, the Aragonese are sending out some levy spearmen. And they're just going to stand in the way of the ram. Are they just going to soak up some ammo or something? This is kind of just a waste of unit. Like, these levy spears, they're pretty damn crap, but they'll hold that choke point. But instead, they're going to hold the choke point outside. This is really bizarre. I've never seen this before. But yes, this replay was sent in by a sub, uh, the drunken Norwegian. Um, and maybe this is him playing as Aragorn, because this is a bit of a drunken move. But, um, interesting move, yeah. To send out, sacrifice this unit. I mean, looks like the uh, Muslim forces are just going to ignore him. And this looks like a pretty elite unit, actually, sent up, like, to push the ram up. Yeah, these are, like, some medium melee units. I'd have sent up, like, a really cheap spear. Because, like, I mean, they only lost four guys, in fairness. But, I mean, taking the ram, pushing the ram up, that's pretty bad. Oh, gosh, here we go. The levy spear been getting shot on the side by some, um, well, well, just by about everything. They've also brought crossbows. And, Jesus, and Javis. Wow, these guys are getting, yeah, an interesting move. Maybe they're trying to just soak up the ammo. Maybe they're just trying to stop the ram. I'm not even sure. They brought pikes. I didn't realize that the Arabs had pikes, to be honest. But this, clearly the Almanids do. Very nice. But yes, so I mean, looks like those levy spears are already, like, breaking. And the Almanids are on the walls. They have some, uh, heavy spears on the wall. And these guys actually do look kind of pretty, pretty good. They remind me a bit of, like, the Persian Immortals. Just, like, with their shield, like, the size of their shields and... I don't know, like, how they dress. They look very, very cool. Uh, they're being matched by some Lancey arrows, which are a medium speed. They're pretty good. But they're getting absolutely focused down by arrows and javis. Look at these. Look at these poor guys. Look at the amount of javis just landing here. Just sure. I mean, they're 
And then eventually it's creeping up, getting one or two more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty nasty. I would not want to be in their, sh in their shoes. But I mean, it looks like... I don't even know what these guys are doing. They've got some Cavaleros here. I wouldn't... What are they doing with these guys? They need to get these out, like, outside the walls harassing. But the Almonds are really, like, la landing a lot of troops now on the walls. More here, more... more land... Oh, no, these are just... These are just heavy infantry. No name, just a heavy infantry unit. They're a polearm unit as well. Polearm with shield. Wow, these guys could be quite handy. And um, they've kind of got that protection from arrows, and they've also got pole arms. They really need to get this cab back and out a different way. Um, but yeah, it looks like the Almonds have really stormed the walls, and they're already, like... Well, they're already on. Dismounted Arag... Wow, this is another elite unit. These Aragonese, uh, like, Hildargos. They want to keep these guys back. Save them for the very last defense. They've probably got some cheap stuff. More, maybe send up some Lanciaros or something different. But they really need to start pulling back. I would already, like, give the walls up. Start defending these choke points. Like, they're just getting overwhelmed by arrows just standing here. Castile's doing a lot better. The Ubids are certainly taking it a lot slower. They've sent up some, uh... Well, I'm not even going to try and say that name. Some heavy melee infantry. They're going to try and break down this shield wall. He's actually... Well, he's defending well. He's not sending troops outside, in fairness. But, I mean, yeah, this is well played by him. He's also got, like... He's really boxing off this area. He's, like, flanking his spears with some light le melee. They are going to get focused down, though, by uh, uh, archers. It doesn't look like they're doing much damage. And he's got... I mean, they're facing off against some Syrian Ashir here. We've got some Pavi's crossbows on the wall. Fighting some... Uh, another medium melee unit, I presume. I would have really tried to get these Pavis out here. They could be huge uh, late game. I mean, he needs to save all this armor really if possible. Like, this is what I mean by, like, the weird, like, Arab and, like, Western vibe. Look at the officer. He's got a turban on. I mean, that's nothing bad about that. Just, it's kind of an interesting interesting time for Spain, isn't it? they kind of, like, got a mix of two cultures. I really like it. But they really need to get this Pavis unit out of here. They have uh, didn't get the Genoese out, but they really should get this other Pavis unit out. I mean, they're focusing on this Syrian Ashir, like, really well, actually. There's a lot of dead bodies down there. Poor guys. Like, look at this guy. He's like, no. I got, he got a crossbow to the face. Jeez. I presume they've run out of room to move this, uh, this, uh, siege tower up. Because otherwise they could really, like, flank this, this formation going on here. They could definitely take out this, this, uh, crossbow unit. Or the crossbow unit would have to be forced to flee. And they've got nothing over it to stop them. Like, yeah, the Castiles. Wow. If they, yeah, if they could, I don't know if they can. I don't know if it's just because of the pathfinding. But they could get this trebuchet, uh, trebuchet. They could get the siege tower down. They could make a, already make a move for the uh, final capture point. They just have to go down this way and up here. Spain is um, was not prepared. Was not really prepared in defense. And they've already like got deep into the city of the Almanids. They are break, losing a lot of men to uh, siege towers. Like the further they get away from their archer support, the worse it um, the worse it is for them. They really need to like just take it slowly. They've done really initially very well. Um, now they just need to take it a bit slow slower. I mean, they've got some medium medium spears, uh, medium swords here. Just taking a lot of hits, though, from some uh, some crossbows. And now they send them some scouts. An interesting move, really, just to send them some scouts. Like I said, if they send the cavalry out, I know they have some of their own cavalry. But they could certainly do some damage to some of these uh, range units. Because, I mean, the unit that we need to be worrying about, I've just seen the Nafatoons. Goddamn Nafatoons are here. And they're fiery balls of justice and just death and destruction. They'll do some damage. They will do some damage. Poor Nafatu. Uh, poor Spanish having to deal with Nafatoons. But we'll see what happens. I mean, this shield wall, like, spear wall, sorry, is just like. Smart by the um, Ayubids. Just don't attack this. Just don't. Let them keep units here. So, um, and then they can, like, send units. They finally sent that crossbow unit back off the walls, it would seem. Um, actually, I say that as there's still a crossbow unit here, so maybe not. Maybe they got another crossbow unit out. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, they're quite. If they're happy just to keep units just stood here while they get shot by arrows, that's fine. Like, look at this light sword unit. They must have lost, well, well over half, and now there's 40 of them left to fight this this sword unit. Like, this is the thing, and they broke instantly as soon as they were hit by infantry, and now this flank. Is vulnerable, very, very vulnerable. And are they being shot by Culverin? These guys, I think they might be. I think the Culverin is trying to focus down this formation here. Um, but yeah, they really need to get. They should have got some of these units out. Like Castile is being caught out, and now he's having to force to send in his other spear unit to surround these guys. So it's just coming in an absolute brawl around this uh, gate. And like these spears are still forced to face this way in. Just in the threat that someone comes through this gate. 
But I mean, what's the sound in here? More Syrian cheer. Just a lot of, yeah. Gate. Oh, a wall's been breached. Wow. Did not see that. And look at the devastation it's caused. I think friend and foe. Mainly, I think, uh, the Genoese broke to that. Lots of Genoese died. And now Tabra are going through the breach. Let's, um, while that's happening, let's just see what's happening with the Almanids and the, uh, Aragonese. Well, it looks like the Aragonese are already, and the Castilians now having to send in stuff, are already very near the, uh, the final capture point. And it looks like they're just throwing everything they have at the Almanids. Like, they are just plowing on through. They, they really need to stop them somewhere. These pole arms could be the answer, and they just need to start firing everything they have crossbow-wise. Um, over here... They're holding back crossbows with cavaleros. I mean, it's a good idea, actually. There is no swords over here, but, I mean, they're just getting focused on, I presume, by other archers. Like, these ones, certainly. Uh, and losing heavy crossbows. And they're just... They're getting minced. They really need to, um... Need to send some up. These pole arms definitely don't want to be here while the crossbows are here. They've got lots of crossbows back here. They need to send these up to deal with these guys. Or send this cavalry in. Like, this king's bodyguard. I know it's... Hmm... I say that they actually have a lot of cavalry over here of their own to the Almanids, so maybe not. But I mean, this is bad for the Almanids. They really shouldn't just be packing up everything here. They need to send all their crossbows actually now to focus on this. This is a huge problem. The balance of power, not looking so great. Um, they probably lost about, it's probably a similar sort of ratio of like losses and like, well, size of armies just after losses. But um, I'd certainly say that it's obviously, well, it's still in favor of the Arabs. But um, they really, really need to do some of those Spanish uh, forces. They really need to find some way to just route a lot of this stuff. They need to just pull back. Maybe even to the final capture point at this point. They've not got a lot left. I mean, they've got a l quite a bit here. And they're just trying to charge the through. Not really sure what... Um, I mean, yeah, look at the Almanids. They're just like losing units all left, right, and center. But I mean, they have some pole arms here, actually. They have some speed. I mean, they've got some reserves. Okay, this cavalry's just pushed through. Don't know if this is, like, allowed. Like, it's a bit cheesy just to pull units through. But, like, yeah, he's just going to pull units through. And then he's going to attack the rear here. I mean, th these are really well armored. These almost have, like, western armor. Like, these almost look like knights. Just in an Arab uh, uniform. Or, like, I don't know. Don't know what you call it. But, yes. I mean, these are... I mean, these spears should now really just mess these guys up. Like... They are breaking. Wow, these Lancieros are not as good as I thought they were. But, I mean, they are starting to break also the cab. Uh, yeah, the King's Bodyguard should go in and just wrap, finish wrapping these guys up. Um, at, at the uh, gate over here, doesn't look so good. I mean, yeah, if I was... Yeah, definitely try and get some of these spears out. Definitely try and hold, get, get these spears out. Try and hold this choke point. This gate's lost. The Tabajaria are in. They've decided to send stuff through the gate finally. Um, I don't know if they lost anything to the gate. Probably not. Yeah, it's in hands. It's in the hands of the Arabs. Yeah, like these. This unit in here is just going to get absolutely minced. Sad to see as some brave Spanish men die for their faith. But they're already forced their way through. They need to. Um, this sword unit. Uh, these Hildargos. They either need. Well, they need to send this pole arm unit. Up, probably better. Uh, maybe send the Hildargos in there. De definitely don't send the king I king in. All you do, definitely do not send him in. They got spears already up here, ready to defend. Looks like the Almond is going to try and open another front up. These frontiersmen, I guess, are already out of ammo, out of ammo throwing all their jabbies early on. Um, and they've got more spears back there. Are these just, what are these? Oh, these are just like some heavy spears. Various units. But these Lanciaros should really, should really be able to hold for a little while. And they've got support from uh, some Hildagos. They Actually, the Spanish seem to be able to I thought the Spanish had very little left, but I keep finding, like, another unit here and there. They've got more stuff up here, which, I mean, they've got r some uh, dismounted caballeros. They do need to start defending over here, though, because already their final capture point is under threat. Get some archers up here. If I don't know if you can, but get some archers up here. One unit to hold here, and you'll hold here forever. Like, certainly if it's a spear unit holding the choke point. But, um... I mean, I think that's what's about to happen here. These militia crossbow look like they're being mobilized over there. But it is quite a lot of breaking. I mean, it is um, a pretty weakened sword unit and the culverine crew. But they are slowly breaking a lot of stuff. I mean, the pole arms are now being outmatched as the uh, Almanids have sent up their pike unit. But, I mean, so they are being at, like, the range of the pikes is beating the pole arms. But, I mean, they, they do need to focus on these pikes. They need to find some way. There's a lot of reserves here for the Almonds. They seem very much untouched. They've got some of their own Pavis crossbows. 
would have been really good if they could have killed some of that uh, range stuff with all that cavalry they brought instead of fighting it out in the streets with the cavalry. Not a great move. Oh my god, that's a good. That's gonna be a charge and a half. Oh my gosh, these uh, heavy shot cav for the Almanids are just nasty. Like, look at that spear unit. What's left of it? I mean, quite a lot is getting up, but there's a lot of dead there. They've basically broken of those Lancia arrows. And, yeah, the, the rest of them should really pull back to here. Like, you're just standing in the open. Just get those pole arms in a choke point. And just hold. Like, I don't... They all... The outgunned... Oh, they actually did route some swords over here with the King's Bodyguard. But they're outgunned, like, at the Spanish. They don't have enough uh, range stuff. So, I mean, they over here, this, well, actually, I say that, as I look over there, they have about four units left. But it looks like the Nafatunes are about to be mobilized. They already look like they've used half their ammo as well. Let's keep an eye on these guys. I want to see these guys throw a volley off. Come on, Nafatunes. Do your worst. I mean, they're using the, their um, fiery balls pretty early. Like, I would have left them for late game. Keep using the Javis, because these guys, these, like, are good for morale. They break morale very easily. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah, that's made a hole in the line. Yeah, they're, they're going to need to uh, send some javies up. Or not some javies, some archers up to shoot those uh, Nafatons. I don't know how much ammo they've got left. Okay, they have about four throws in them, I'd say, then. Because that looks like a quarter ammo left now. They're going over here. Where are they going now? Oh. Maybe they're going to send those Nafatunes around to deal with this. Because clearly they're finding this um, defense here a bit. These Monteros are a bit more of a stubborn. And they're just going to shoot them with crossbows, it seems. Um, it's a bit of a shame. I'd definitely not send both. The, I'd just keep this damage pole arm there and just save the uh, other ones. Just till they actually send in do a charge. Because these guys are just getting picked off. I mean, they have now got some of their own militia crossbow to shoot back. So that's good to see. Um... I mean, these are Pavi's crossbow, they say. Oh, they're actually Andalusian crossbows, but they just got a shield on their back, which they don't use to defend themselves with. An interesting decision. But, I mean, it looks like over here, it's sort of been sorted. Oh, no, this isn't good to see these Mamluks of... Why did they send their archers out here? Just leave them on these walls over here. That's two... Well, certainly one. This unit might get out. But this Genoese... These Genoese crossbows have been, like... I know they're mercenaries and they're not your own, like, countrymen, but, I mean, they've really been done over. I guess if you, if all the mercenaries die, you don't have to pay them. I guess that's a fair, ex a fair enough analogy. I wouldn't send the king out now, though. Just hold the line here. What's holding? Oh, it's going to be some shock infantry that's going to try and hold. Are they not got any spare spears? Well, they have some over here that's, like, defending. Yeah, the Spanish are really, they definitely need to pull back now. I'm like, they've got a lot of stuff over there. They're making a push? The Spanish are making a push? Wow. Interesting decision. I would have pulled back to like these final few choke points. Because you could probably hold. I mean, this one's a bit of a problem though. I guess... I guess you can pull back. Like, because certainly here, you're kind of like, in a real situation, you've got to have two units holding in this line the entire time. Hmm. Maybe this final uh, capture point's not as uh, strong as I thought. This city's just... It's going to be hard to hold. The Almas are doing a great job, though. They're taking it nice and slowly. I mean, they're now defending their flank from that little push that the Spanish were wanting to make. I mean, yeah, actually, well, the Spanish are beating everything off over here. They're, they are running out of stuff. Balance of power. It's only 500 now in it. It is a bit closer. The uh, Ubids really have got to do a lot of the heavy lifting now um, in breaking these guys. The Spanish do have a... Uh, not the Spanish. The Arabs do have a lot of Cav left, which is probably why the balance of power is so far in their favor. Because Cav's obviously just supreme in this world. But... Um, the, in the infantry for the Spanish should hopefully prevail to some degree. I mean, these Hildagos are just being routed now and going to get cut down, so they won't return. But yeah, now there's a huge gap here. They really need to sort this out. They need to get these Spanish... Like the cat. Oh dear. Please don't tell me the general's dead for them. The sp I hope the Castilians haven't lost their general, but they really need to get everything out of here. Like these Hildargos, get these heavy infantry out of here. Might need to sacrifice a unit. Maybe these uh, Pabby's Crossbow might need to be sacrificed to hold back the Ayubid horde that's coming. Because you really just get this Montero, this fresh unit of Monteros out of here. This one's also going to have to be sacrificed. 
They're going to get the sandwich of their life. Yep. Look at these Mamluks. They're just going in here. They're going to just harass them all the way back to their capture point. Oh, no. This is not This is not good. This is Code Red. This is when you say, we've got to fall back to the final the final uh, defense. Because, yeah, you're going to lose a whole two units, maybe three units of pole arms here. Which would be huge in the final defense. Because they're short of infantry anyway, but they're also pole arms. So these guys will hold for ages. They don't just about hold anything back at will. Apart from those pikes, wherever they've gone. There they are. Those pikes he's dealing with. But here we go. The Monteros are going to get massacred. And the heavy infantry, which is here. They actually already... Wow, these guys have lost a lot already. They were a fresh unit. They're already down to 54. These Mamluks are nasty. I don't know if they've, like... Were pretty weak before they went into combat. But they're getting, like... Ridden down. And now there's, like, some dismounted Mamluks going in the back. Are these, no, these are just like... Oh, these are like the medium swords or whatever they are. Which don't have swords. They have axes and maces. They look goddamn awesome. I won't lie. Yeah, and there we go. The Monteros are gone. Sudanese archers focusing down these militia crossbows. Need to get everything... Just... No, don't say... Uh, these Hildargos need to get to the top of the hill. Even if, if there's any... Have these crossbows without any ammo. Need to start putting them in, enlisting them into the front line. They've got some pretty elite units left, no fa uh, so that's pretty good. I mean, these guys are pretty good, but I mean, if they could just get focused down by arrows and they become redundant. And they have a lot of ammo left. They have a lot of oh, these foot guards still have ammo. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Spanish. 900 men left. Yeah, I'm. It's not looking good. They're now like two to one. It's going to take a miracle to beat these Spanish now. But you got to believe. Believe in God. If they can get a, maybe a general kill um, on one of these uh, factions, they could pro probably route their entire army. They're both pretty beaten up now. The Ubids are certainly feeling the pain. Look at all these. I mean, these crossbows need to do something. These Hildargos need to get back to the top of the hill. Like, they can get the king up there. You can certainly do some routing. What have they got over here? Oh, they have those Mamluks. Oh no, it's the uh, Almanid heavy shot cav. They have a lot of cavalry left. I'm surprised they brought so much. Looks like it's going to be the pikes to go in first. They should be a primary target for the uh, archers to be focusing down. Shouldn't even engage these guys to slow down. Like, this is not a spot you want to engage in. You want to engage them at the top of that slope. They're already flanking. Look at this. They're just flanking around. Flanking around like they're not even there. And here we go. The slow pokey poke by the pikes. And if the camera would sort itself out, we could watch. Yeah, they're not even like... Clearly, like this formation here, you can tell the attack orders just to get move through them. They're not even attacking them. They're just being told move through them. They're already setting themselves up to attack the crossbows. So yeah, these poor... These poor swords are going to get just killed to death by like long, long, long pikes. And it's a shame because they're a really elite unit. The hill Hildargas have been just kind of brutally used anyway. I mean, they're setting in some heavy infantry now. It looks like... Oh, don't pull these guys back because now it's going to mobilize these Syrian Ashid. No, no. You're giving up the choke point. And now the attack order is to go in and attack these Syrian Ashid. Not the end of the world because it is still a choke point you're fighting over, but. And you are shocking for Trusia. It is better probably to have that. Looks like the general bodyguard is getting focused down a little bit, though, if he's still alive. A lot of cav mobilizing over here. Oh, no, some culver. <laughs> Why do they have culverines here? Why do they have culverines? They're getting just mown down. That's unfortunate. The, the poor crew they didn't even get to fire a shot. It looks like... Oh no, here we go. Look, we're going to have a little charge here. Against some... Uh, some more Spanish infantry. Some more Hildargos. And then the king's going in. Looks like Aragon's not going down without a fight. And that's good to see. And it looks like... Yeah, look, they're going to... I thought they were going to try and sneak by, but here we go. More Mamluks can send in now. And they're winning decisively. 
They need some spears. They really lost. They lost far too many spears over there. They could have won this, but they got trapped in that sandwich over there, where like the entire uh, Muslim army is now based. That's a shame. So it looks like the Spanish Reconquista is going to falter. That's not a good sign here. And then the Navatoons are throwing the Navatoons one final time. We've got to see this. Oh! We have, so we saw like the aftermath. And they're trying to charge through and deal with them. One more volley. Oh, yes. That's what we like to see. Not quite sure how these horse, this horse blew up. Jesus. Yeah, I'd break if that was happening. It's like... I think they're out of ammo now. How are they still holding? They've literally just been decimated. There they go. They break. And that's a shame. I mean, it was probably going to happen either way. They had to charge down and fight. I mean, they, lo they didn't even kill 20 men. Of these uh, spears. That's a shame. It and now the general's going to have to be mobilized somewhere. And they're running out of infantry. The general's breaking for Aragon. And Castile's general's going in for one final charge. It's a shame to see. And it looks like... Uh, Spain will once again be ruled by Islamic states. A brutal, brutal last time. There is the Spanish king, the Castilian king, with his golden crown and helmet. Defend the king! And there he goes, he's dead. No! He has fallen. So I imagine, yeah, now look at this, all the Spanish, uh, not the Spanish, the uh, Muslim forces getting in behind. And these crossbows won't hold. And that will be the battle, it will seem. Uh, it's a pretty good one. I mean, the Spanish made a few mistakes, probably holding the walls for far too long. And sending out that infantry, that spear infantry unit just to die straight away was a bit strange. But um, it was a good defense by the Spanish. And they just got overwhelmed by his superior tactics from the... Uh, the Muslim forces. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So, I mean, the Spanish king, uh, Castile, getting 125 kills. So he did very well in the end. These uh, crossbows getting 230. They did very well. Um, his Monteros getting 121. They did very well against those until those pikemen turned up. And, uh, yeah, his spearmen did pretty average as well. It's a shame about is this mounted caballero. It's probably one of his infantry units he spent the most on. And they just got kind of decimated by Nafatoons. Um, but yeah, so I, that's probably the most of the units did well. I mean, he's, didn't even see these guys, Al, Al Mugavars. I guess, oh, these were the light, uh, sword unit that just basically broke straight away. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Um, so unlucky to a drunken Norwegian, um, this time around, he, uh, made a good defense, but it was just not to be, it would seem. So, but thank you for sending in that, uh, thank you, thank you for sending in the replay. Um, always need more replays. We'll have a quick look at Bendy, who, uh, played as Aragon, and he had a lot of dismounted Aragonese Hildagos, and they did pretty damn well, actually. I mean, the power from this unit, getting like 70-odd kills, pretty good. They did hold the line for a while. These Caballeros, I criticized bringing them, but they actually got a lot of kills. 208, 123, they did a lot of work, actually. So, I mean, well, I'll take it back. It was definitely worth bringing them. Maybe if he took them outside the city walls, they maybe wouldn't have done as well. Um, his Levy Spearman getting no kills, just kind of going outside, was a bit of a bizarre tactic. I wouldn't I probably would have left them inside. Try to use them in uh, some capacity. His uh, Lanciaros, um, I thought would have done better. They're a pretty good unit I've seen in um, in past battles. But it seems like today they just weren't enough. And these heavy infantry, I mean, a bit of a shame that they weren't able to be mobilized a bit better. Because they could have done with these pole arms. His crossbows did okay. Not as well as um, drunk Norwegians, but they did okay. Um, and his king's bodyguard getting three, 33 kills. Um, now on to Honor Fush, uh, one, two, three. So he's... Uh, played as the Ayubids. 286 kills for his Tabadria, and they barely got scratched. Wow, that is very, very good. Well, well, well used by that. He did well with them. God, had a small brain fart there. Um, the Sudanese archers getting 147 kills. Wow, they're they're a pretty cheap unit, I think, and they've done really well there. And that's well, well used by them as well. Um, is Mamluk. Uh, Lancers obviously getting a lot of kills. These guys are just tanks. 321, and they're only getting nearly 200 kills. His Nafatoon's getting 101. That's all what we like to see. They did cause a lot of havoc as well, blowing up a load of men. 
And uh, one of his uh, medium soldier indicating 106. That's not bad either. Um, then on to Burak BB, uh, who was playing as the Almana, uh, Almahad uh, Caliphate. Um, they they did pretty well actually. Like overall, like most of his units did actually pretty well. Is um, his uh, shot carry doing very well? Getting 168 kills and 130. And then his uh, Andalusian heavy crossbows here getting 184, so they did very well. And uh, probably one of his melee units did the best, was probably his pikes. Obviously, like, they just sorted out a load of choke points. They forced units out of those choke points, getting 72 kills, so not too bad. They actually probably are, like, one of the highest. Oh, there's 88 there for his frontiersmen. They did pretty well with their jabbies. But, yeah, he had some very good tactics, and I was very impressed by uh, how he basically dislodged the Spanish uh, choke points, basically, in defences. So, well done to all the players that took part. Um, thank you for the replay. Always uh, great to see 12-12 replays. And just and any replays that, uh, really, to be honest. So, if you want to send in a replay and ha for me to have a look at and maybe uh, feature on the channel, then please do send it into the Discord. The link for the Discord is down below. Um, and if you want to interact with other players and find new people to play with, then uh, that is the place to go as well. So, until next time, Legionnaires, please uh, do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.